Well, you Tibians, today is the day to recognise the land down under. That's right, today is National Australia Day. This day is observed annually on January 26th to mark the 1788 landing of the first fleet of British ships and raising of the Union flag by Governor Arthur Phillip at Sydney Cove in New South Wales. Today, celebrations aim to reflect the diverse society and landscape of the nation. Marked by reflections on Australian history, official community awards, community and family events, and citizenship ceremonies welcoming new members of the community. And not only that, it reminds us of what an interesting and wonderful place Australia is. And there's a lot of things to learn about Australia too. Like, did you know Australia is both a country and a continent? And it's bigger than you think. In fact, it's roughly the same size as mainland USA. It's ranked second on the Human Development Index. Four out of five Australians live less than 50 kilometers from the coastline. That's roughly 90% of Australians living on the coast. Some of the world's deadliest animals live there. Tasmania has the cleanest air in the world. The word selfie was originated there. And interestingly, every week, there are an estimated 70 tourists that overstay their visas. And who can blame them? There's just a lot of amazing stuff to come out of Australia. So many, in fact, I have written a letter. A thank you letter, to be more specific. <clears throat> Dear Australia, I'm writing this letter to simply say thank you. Thank you for being such an intriguing and miraculous place, with scenic wonders like the Sydney Opera House, the Outback, Bondi Beach, and the Sydney Mardi Gras, among others. When it comes to nature, you've got it made with such unique wonders as Fraser Island, the world's largest sand island, the Great Barrier Reef, the planet's largest living structure, Ayers Rock and Mount Augustus, the Australian Alps, which receives more snow every year than Switzerland, the yearly migration of red crabs on Christmas Island, your lovely pink lakes, and Victoria, the garden state of Australia. You also gave us some of the most interesting animals in the world, like the kangaroo, the platypus, the echidna, the wombat, the emu, the quokka, the Tasmanian devil, the cassowary, the dingo, the bilby, the kookaburra, and the largest number of purebred camels in the world. So many, in fact, that Australia actually exports camels to the Middle East. And I would be remiss if I didn't stop to acknowledge the number of famous people you've graced us with. Steve Irwin, the Hemsworth brothers, Rebel Wilson, Rose Byrne, Margot Robbie, Hugh Jackman, and Heath Ledger, to name a few. Speaking of which, there are also your contributions to the world of entertainment, like The Wiggles, Sammy J and Randy, The Umbilical Brothers, Aussie rock bands like The Little River Band and ACDC, and especially and most recently, Bluey. And of course, let's shed some light on the various inventions and innovations with which you have practically changed the world. Like the black box flight recorder, spray on skin, the electronic pacemaker, Google Maps, the cochlear implant, the electric drill, permaculture, Wi-Fi technology, the ultrasound scanner, permanent crease clothing, the cervical cancer vaccine, tank bread tuna, the dual flush toilet, the world's first seatbelt law, meat pies, fairy bread, and also the spork, to name a few. So I said it before and I will say it again, Thank you, Australia, for all you've given the world. Keep up the good work. Sincerely yours, Tanner.
So today, take a moment to think about what an amazing place Australia is, and all the amazing things to come from there. Until next time, I bid you good day, mate. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention the Australian accent, my favorite accent to do. I'll tell you that for free.